finally back. Uh, this is a little bit loud again. It's taken a while for it to get captured to start. I think I'm just about done with the game. So let's just go ahead and get started. Load a game. So at this point, I think I still need to give the ants to Alfred. And then it'll do another cut scene, and then I gotta get gotta go back to Jelly Baby. I've been reading ahead. Look, Albert. Look. Oh, you found the commode. Well done. No, Albert, I mean, I've managed to collect a hundred souls. Oh, well, I suppose you must be deaf material after all. I should have guessed it from all your lies. What are me drinking through a straw? Oh, all Turns right. Out honest, Go out and reap away to your little heart's content, but you've got to be back before the bell tolls. You know how the other three horsemen hate hanging about. He's like Sometime a kid. Hey, Daddy, later. look! Thanks for the walking animation for him. It's amazing how much they animated in this. Oh, there you are, sir. And quite the part you look. There's a job for you. Your very first. Hmm. What's this? It's a lifetimer hourglass. It counts off the Poons? moments you gonna of its owner's go life. Him yet? As you can see, it's almost empty. Perhaps it's time for you to put down your milky tea and actually do some work. All right, all right. I'm going. Who does this hourglass belong to, then? Oh, you'll find out. I think you'll find him quite easy to spot in a crowd. This was pretty cool. They actually changed this from the beginning. Unlike the actual ending to the game. Forgot the glue not in you. Jelly Baby. Whoa. Yeah. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You're a beautiful audience. If somewhat stupid. Ah. It's so good to see people who are upright and breathing. You kind of come back and forth between oh, being course, really loud you know, and really not my loud. Old job was always so hard. I only had a skeleton staff. <laughs> oh, he must be going to Bob Zaney.net or something. Knock, knock. Huh. Who's Death. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That one, eh? Alas, poor death. I knew him, Horatio, a man of infinite jest. Well, not exactly infinite. I didn't think I was doing too badly. Um, 
maybe it's best not to quibble at this point in the proceedings. This is ridiculous. How can death die? The more like me you became, the more mortal I became. Sod it. I was just starting to get the hang of this. Oh dear, I really do think I'm fading. Maybe taking time off from my job wasn't such a good idea after all. Ah well, I suppose it's in good hands. Ta-ta, have fun being the Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper? What do you mean, Grim Reaper? Well, if I'm gone, then the job's yours. Through all eternity. But I can't be the Grim Reaper. I'll get queasy just squishing caterpillars on the baby lettuces. No, stop it. I don't want to be left holding the scythe. Nope. I'm slipping, I'm afraid. My time is running out. I wish I'd had a mother. Because if I'd had a mother, I could cry out, Mother. But I didn't. So I can't. Blast. Other famous last words are, Don't point that at me. And, Need that? Why is that red light flashing? And, Hey y'all, watch this! How does make a profit on this stuff at five groats a bottle? I know them all. Now, which one shall I use? Let me see now. Alright, just stay there, and I'll try to get you on your feet again. Wearing the hat under the robe. I think I'm supposed to grab that cork or something. Act four. Till death us do part. Here I am. Remembering how I did this like 20 years ago. Let's see, yeah, not there. Ah. I gotta wait for an adventurer to show up. But I think it does split into a screen or something. And I think it does do a cutscene when he does show up. Dang it. There he is. Yeah, you're gonna get a canton and... Hey, look, a canteen. I got the mummy's hand. Perfectly timed. No, no, I wasn't touching your saddlebags. No, not at all. Running really fast. Oh, there, there's the broken hourglass. First. Who's telling Rincewind to, to fill up a bottle full of Fountain of Youth stuff? Let's just leave him. kind of going. Go, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm following a walkthrough, so I'm missing a lot of important detail. You know, as in, like, somebody is telling Rincewind. 
Go get, go get this canteen full of water. Isn't there sand in there anyway? I just need to just like turn it upside down and let it flow. red not blue I should do a. Maybe I can do a. Um. I forgot to shout four. Epilogue. Queen Kong. This game is nowhere near as long as the first one or the third one. Not making us have to go through the whole clicking thing. Fix the clicky. Not sure whether they spent enough on the script for this movie. It seems to be all just special effects. Hmm? Is it intermission yet? I was hoping for something nice and sticky on a stick. The only thing sticky around here is this finale. Get on with it! <laughs> yeah, I just finally finished drinking up ice I got earlier in the morning. Okay, let's see. Gotta talk to him. Bladders! Get your bladders here! Only a groat apiece, and even then I'm cutting my own throat. Bladders? Are you taking the pi- Bladders? 
bladders? Bladders, my friend, a rustic forerunner of the more familiar rubber balloon, as enjoyed by children. This is absolutely true. Who says computers aren't educational? I've got sheep bladders, vole bladders, moose bladders. You want a bladder? I'm your man. You know, I believe you. You can do other things besides blow them up, you know. Oh, dozens of uses a good bladder. Although, right now, I admit I can only think of uh, one or two. Uh, well, uh, one, really. Hey, um... I'm gonna do something because I want to say something. And I want to move April's head. Oh, there it is. Or... There it is, kind of looking more at the user. Or whoever may be viewing this video. They know she platter moves platters. Now, if he had fox bladders, ooh, there would be trouble. Now to go to... All right. I'd like to buy some bladders, please. Certainly, Squire. Now then, what sort? We've got your rat, uh, your vole, that's the field vole, meadow vole, and the killer clatchian vole. The killer vole? Oh, yeah. You know the ones. Six feet long, covered in poisonous spines, with incisors like chisel blades. I thought voles were sweet little things, you know, small and brown and covered with fur. Not these ones, sir. Take your arm off in an instant. They've levelled old continents. Obliterated ships filled with puppies, baby kittens and innocent nuns. Wait a minute. These look like sheep bladders. It comes to something when a poor sheep is finding its essential organs floating around as kiddies balloons. Sheep, sir? Never, sir. Catch me arming sweet little creatures with curly wool and big brown eyes. Nah, not on my life. Cut me own throat if I tell a lie. These have been taken from Clatchian voles, a life form so foul, sir, so venomous, so putrid and psychotic that the hunters, sir, the hunters were all awarded medals for services to humanity. Clatchian voles is like rabid sharks on legs, sir. Oh, well, that's all right then. In that case, give me some of them. Right you are, squire. I just hope they had time to go to the lavatory first, though. A lot of um bladders. Get your bladders here. The sun wins wind. Hello there, young man. Having a good day? This is clearly some attempt at sarcasm. Haven't you got anything better to do than sit here all day? Well, it's not every day I get to see a man torn to pieces by a giant elf. Oh, yes. Point taken. Are you sure this is where you want to be? I mean, it's not exactly safe, is it? I don't know. The safest place seems to be wherever you are. I heard all those comments you made about the animation budget, you see. She's right there, you know. Waiting to see me get croaked, is she? Only the fact that this is the last scene of the game makes me refrain from saying something really acidic. Bladders! Get your bladders here! I'd best leave it alone. Granny might get jealous. Pretty Polly. You can swap mines with this raven, can you? Yes, I'm very good at it. Oh, go on. You can't possibly manage to put all your knowledge and experience into that tiny little avian brain. <laughs> of course I can. Just watch. What a clever woman. Clever, yet oddly dumb. Now we're cooking. I've always wanted to try Bladders! Get <laughs> Almost like when uh, Mashiro did that. What is it now? 
now. The dead are supposed to rest in peace, you know. Run! It's a falling giant woman. And that's another thing. In my day, girls were sweet, demure little thing. Not 60 foot tall monsters like you apparently get now. And I'm also pretty sure that in my day, they all actually wore something under the... Sometime later. So, it. it's you at last, is it? I mean, so that, where do you think you have been? To begin with, Sorry. She was it's been pulled into this world by week. Rince Wind. Confusing? I've been undead since half past ten on Tuesday morning. I mean, I wouldn't complain, but I lost 17 pence just on blowfish since I died. You'd think the afterlife would be cheaper, wouldn't you? Well, I've said sorry, haven't I? Come on, let's have a curry before we go. My treat. Ah, well, all right, that uh, is rather decent of you. By the way, I tried strangulation, drowning, poison, Hmm, that's that switch to... I even listened to improvised jazz music. But that just made me wish I was dead. Or that the musicians were dead at any rate. How did I finally manage to go? You got sat on by a giant elven queen. Now there's one I never thought of trying. Still, if you gotta go... <laughs> Yeah, you hear about that video of the guy who got sat on by an elephant? There's yeah. a place you're always welcome. The elephant at Rickest really wanted to get That's checked as for nice cancer. as it can be. Everyone let this play, can and I'm not going to talk much more, but if you want to get one that I don't talk over, I think free. the first video in this That's series I'm doing. That's death. No need to take a breath. Just lie around all day. No, tinsel. With not a single bill Engine has only been used in three Rain. games, and it's pretty, it's a pretty good uh, compression system. No more sicknesses or flu. If you've lived beyond your means, you can die beyond them too. Boo hoo. Well, the greatest and the finest mm, have already died. Why not simply join them? Yeah, I remember as a kid, they would, um, I would hate it when they do announcements over the end credits because I like listening to the music. And pop your final pills. After this episode of she you're gonna get to watch uh, Thundercats. Thunder, thunder, Thundercats. Nothing here to hurt you. No one's here to nag. Come die with me if your life's a drag. Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go do the Mario. Up next is the Rush Limbaugh Show.
tell some good stories from once. I know, like, even after we got out of the army, Rosie invited me to her parties. And she lives quite a distance away from me, and I would go, knowing full well that all I want to do is get a hearty handshake. But her parties were good. 